No matter what you're doing, there's always a teenager that's doing it better. Over the last couple of months, we've talked a lot about collegiate rocket programs and the high heights they're going to and some of the cool rockets that they've designed. But we left out one area of amateur rocketry that actually has a lot of action behind it. And that's with high school students. That's right, there are hundreds of teenagers all around the world that are actually building rockets that might even compete with some of those collegiate rockets. So let's get into the highest flying rockets built by high school students. Up first we have a rocket built by Alamos Heights High School. This is an American high school which participates in the Systems Go program. This program was kickstarted by a high school teacher who is actually also a rocket fanatic and he wanted to help bring more of a practical approach to teaching engineering and science to high school students. In this program, students are able to compete at three different levels of rocketry. Throughout the school year, they're able to design and build their rockets and then finally, in the summer, go out to the test range and fire them off. And there's actually some pretty incredible systems that have come out of this program. As we'll see, four of the rockets that are on this list happen to have come from it. Alamos Heights often participates in the Systems Go program. And in 2016, the rocket that they built was able to get to an altitude of just over 3,000 meters. Alamos Heights built this rocket as a part of the Goddard level, which has a goal of trying to take a payload of up to 35 pounds, which is just over 15 kilograms, to an altitude of up to 100,000 feet. The rocket that they designed was a hybrid rocket, and was able to reach an altitude of just over 3,000 meters. The rocket could have gone higher, but unfortunately they suffered a catastrophic failure with their combustion chamber uh, halfway through the flight. So unfortunately, they only made it to about 3,000 meters. But that's still really high. So congratulations to the Alamos Heights High School for designing this rocket. Next up, we have another rocket coming out of the Systems Grow program that was built by the Brazoswood High School. This rocket, named John Redden 1, is truly a monster of a vehicle. It comes in at a wet mass of just over 350 kilograms and stands almost 8 meters tall. If we think about the rocket that Astra is designing in order to get to the Kármán line, we're planning to have a rocket that's about uh, just over 6 meters tall and it's going to weigh around 275 kilograms when it's fully fueled. So a bit bigger than ours. <laughs> always goes to show you that uh, no matter what you're doing, there's always a teenager that's doing it better. Emotional damage! In 2019, Brazoswood High School was able to launch John Redded 1 from White Sands Missile Range. And this is the area where the Systems Go high-level rocketry ends up going for the launch day. It's a military facility that's able to host these types of high-caliber launches. In the end, John Redden 1 was able to reach a peak altitude of just under 4,000 meters. Although I don't have footage of the launch, the thrust that they must have had on takeoff must have been truly astronomical, and definitely within the range of what collegiate vehicles are producing today. So watch out, these high schoolers could be going for the Carmen line in the coming years, now that they're in college. Next up, we have a rocket that's not coming out of the Systems Go program, and it's from Denver South High School. Just last year in 2021, they were able to build a solid rocket as part of their Project Mary Jackson program. Interestingly enough, this is actually named after the first African American black woman to join NASA. Denver South High School was actually able to break some records with their launch. Because it was a solid vehicle, they were able to get really, really high thrusts at the start and reach a peak velocity of just over Mach 2.1. This sets a record for the fastest speed ever achieved by a high school designed rocket. So congratulations to the Denver South team for this awesome achievement. With high speeds also comes high altitudes. And although they weren't able to actually break the high school altitude record, they came quite close. Their rocket flew just over eight kilometers and came within two kilometers of the record. So we're definitely looking forward to what the Denver South team has to offer next. Coming in at number two, we have the Brazoswood High School once again. Although the rocket they designed this time was not quite as massive as the one they launched in 2019. Last year, there was another Systems Go launch, which Brazoswood participated in, and the rocket which they brought, called Sparrow, was able to beat their previous mark. Surprisingly, in order to do this, they actually scaled down the rocket quite a lot in order to cut down on the unnecessary mass that was in the John Redden 1 vehicle. In the end, they were able to have a vehicle that had a total fueled up mass of just over 100 kilograms and stood at just under 6 meters tall. With this design, they're able to more than double their previous mark, reaching an altitude of 9.1 kilometers. Although it should be said that this altitude is a bit of an estimate because they actually lost radar tracking uh, during the flight and were not able to 100% confirm the altitude. But after careful review of the footage, it's quite clear that they reached at least this altitude. Last up, we have the king of the high school rockets and also the record holder for the highest altitude reached by a high school rocket. And that is, of course, by 
Fredericksburg High School. If you remember back to the start of the video, I mentioned that the Systems Go program was started by a teacher at Fredericksburg High School. So it kind of stands to reason that the record would actually be held by the Fredericksburg High School team. Over the last 25 years that the program's been going, Fredericksburg High School has been able to launch many, many, many rockets. And while doing this, they've also achieved the White Sands Missile Range record of 36,000 feet. And just to put that feat into perspective, it's really hard to build a rocket that goes over 10 kilometers. There are many countries, even in Europe, that still don't have amateur rocketry records that are higher than 10 kilometers. So if we just moved Fredericksburg High School into, you know, Switzerland or, or France or something, <laughs> they would actually have the record for all of the amateurs. A high school team. Master Kenobi, you disappoint me. But the crazy doesn't stop there. It gets even crazier. Have you ever heard of Thomas Jefferson High School? They have plans in the work to maybe get a Carmen Line vehicle started. <laughs> you serious? Yes, you heard that right. There is a high school that's actually trying to build a rocket that goes to 100 kilometers altitude. And you know what? They might actually do it. You might actually know Thomas Jefferson High School for another crazy space feat, as they became the first high school group to actually send a satellite into space. You heard me right. Back in 2013, these high school students actually designed and built a satellite which traveled aboard a Minotaur rocket all the way to space. So if there's any group that could get a Carmen Line rocket working, I wouldn't bet against these kids. Overall, the plan is to get to the Carmen Line by 2025. And just to reiterate, that would make them the first high school group to ever achieve this milestone. And there's actually only one collegiate group that's achieved it. So, pff, man, they're really putting us all to shame. One last thing I should say before I sign off is that the world of high school rocketry is not really a very well publicized one. So um, if you are a high school student and you've designed a rocket that should be on this list, please let me know. We want to include you. Just leave the details about your rocket in the comments so we don't miss it. I hope that you look to these groups for inspiration about what you can do with just a little bit of ingenuity and all that passion. And remember to keep expanding your horizons. I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name, check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain, I ingest, I retain, assess and I change, possessed by the thought I'll be free one day from society's restraints. The Systems Go program was started by a high school teacher from the Fredericksburg University, uh, not university, high school. I keep wanting to say university. It's just so shocking that these rockets are being designed by high school students.